how to do butterfly lock for beginners no cornrow no crochet no needle none of that and welcome today is my friend debbie that is my hair model and i'm going to show you what we are going to use we are going to need a free tress kinky hair this is how it look like we'll be using this we also are going to use butterfly crochet hair that is how it comes this actually comes 12 in a pack and i'm going to session this hair we're also going to use shine and jam to be laying the hair so it will be all nice and neat so i session the hair in three from the back and we are working to get a shape of buzz braid okay so this is how the hair comes like that is how it looks like. So I'm going to use my two finger to pull the knot right there. So I pull it a little bit so my two finger can go in inside the loop. Now that it's inside the loop, I'm going to session the free tress hair. This is the free tress hair. I session it in two. After I session, I use my left hands to hold it and my right hand has the butterfly hair is i put it in the middle of my finger then i pull it out this we are going to use to do a braid base again if you don't know how to use do crochet this is a friendly hair so i'm going to session this hair in two okay now that i have it in two i place the hair the butterfly hair in the middle of the hair i'm going to show you right there is in the middle i have it like three i put it in the middle and i'm going to buzz braid the base see my right hand is holding a session one my left hand is holding another session then right the one that is with the butterfly in the middle so my right hand is going to go to the left finger get the hair see how i put my finger then my left finger is going to go to the right get the hair and i grab the hair that we session into put it together and i buzz braid it i'm going to let you see what i'm doing with me So that is what I'm going to do. Again, I'm not putting a lot of tension on her hair because this is a protective style. It's not too tight. It's also not too loose. And the next is I'm going to use the hair that we put, which was the featureless hair, to go round from my left all the way back to the thumb of my left. Why my left hands are holding the hair? In one place so it will not come out that is what my left finger is doing my right hand is transporting the hair from my left is going in a cycle that is all it's doing just like a cycle when you're tying something you go round and round and round okay six so hope you're seeing and also understanding what i'm doing that is all we are going to do the next thing is i'm going to bring out my thumb because this is a butterfly lock my thumb is going to go right and i loop the hair over it and i'll bring the hair in front of my thumb to make it tight i'll bring out the loop now i'll use my right finger i got it out then i go at the back see I'm, i go at the back that help the hair to be nice and tight and secure so it will not come out so that is all i will be doing until i finish wrapping around where her natural hair is and you see i just if the hair is a little too thick if you're doing you just use your hand to brush it a little bit and continue wrapping it around this hair if you want to know how you can maintain this hair how you can grow it while you have it in protective style and what to use what till the end of this video i'm going to explain and also show you how to do maintain this hair that you can carry up to four to six weeks if you have itchy hair whenever you do your hair 
watch till the end of the video i'm going to explain how you can get rid of the itchiness okay so i continue doing the same until i finish now i'm going to tie it see that is how i did to tie it after i tie it i'm going to the remaining of the hair i'm going to wrap it all around so it will be nice and secure and also neat so this is how the hair came out after i'm doing it so this hair was actually inspired by in came jeffrey the chick natural glam by mary just random toya miss erin queen lodge tasty pink top a top one hey six <laughs> okay so if you're watching thank you thank you so much for watching subscribe like comment and please help me get that hit the like so that youtube will know that you like this video and it will show it to other people so i continue with the same concept see i have my fingers down and i'm going to start buzz braiding if you know how to buzz braid you can do this hair is very easy again make sure you watch till the end of this video so you don't miss out on the tips on how to grow your hair how to have your hair in a protective style and still enjoy and how to go about doing that okay so the same concept going if you notice this hair is not too tight it's not too loose and you can do it i believe in you sis guys family <laughs> okay so the same concept is what i did the first hair that i did actually did it in real time so you can see how to do it but if you did not understand it just go back and rewatch this video and you'll be able to understand it if there is something that you do not know or hear me well or see it please comment in the comment section i would love to answer your questions if you do have any so i wanted to ask will you be trying this hairstyle if you have what you hear just comment no crochet no braid comment in the comment section just for me to know that you watch this part so this is how the hair came out like i mentioned before for you to really maintain this hair and carry it longer satin pillowcase is the good because it will keep your hair very nice and sleek or you can use a bonnet if bonnet comes out of your hair satin is a good way for you to use even if you're tired they can just come back and lay your hair and you know that your hair will still look nice the following day now i will want to mention something if you're using the satin pillowcase i'm going to put the link in the description below but do not dry it in the washing machine if not it will ruin it well from my experience again yeah okay so again now for itchiness if your hair do itch whenever you do it i do have a video where i show you how to use a clove and close sort hair it stop itchiness and also i do have a video on aloe vera i'm going to put it at the end of this video you can just do that and spray it on your hair you can oil this hair treat it two to three times in a week and it will keep your hair nice and pretty nice and smooth while you are also growing your hair that is when it's protective type when you're doing something to keep feeding it the nutrient that you in it so thank you thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video as we did me and my friend debbie we had so much fun <laughs> it was so much fun i hope you enjoy it as we did and please like share comment please comment and share tell a friend and a friend tell a friend help your sister out or your daughter out <laughs>